Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very fun one. Um, I'm going to be reorganizing all of my bookshelves. Um, if you've been following along with my channel on like the vlogs and stuff, you'll know that I've been in North Carolina for the summer. We are now back home. If you watch my videos for a while, this should look familiar to you. Um, but we managed to collect a lot of books over the summer. Between the, me and Jacob, we read almost 40 books just this summer. So we have a lot, they're all in this tote right here. And then in addition, we have all the books that we already had, some of which we have not read, some of which are read. So I thought I'd make a video today of me going through organizing all my books. First step obviously was to take them all off the shelves. So that's already been done. I have all of our books surrounding me. The next thing that I'm going to do is probably walk down the bookshelves because they might be a little dusty. It's been a while since I've like taken all the books off. And then I think the next thing, so I guess step three, will be to organize them into genre. The previous status um, was a little disorganized. <laughs> they kind of were just thrown on the shelf, no rhyme or reason. It was mostly kind of by what order we bought them in or we collected them in. So I'll insert some clips with kind of a rundown of what the shelves looked like beforehand. This is all of the books that we took to Charlotte with us and or bought while we were out there. So most of these have been read, but there's a few of them that we still need to. Then we have this bookshelf over here. This mostly is just Jacob's Law textbooks and that's probably how it's gonna stay. I'm probably not gonna really touch that bookshelf. <laughs> then, we have this one, and this is what you see in most of my book videos. This is kind of mostly full of books that I kind of had either before we got married or that we've gathered in the first couple years of marriage. Very few of these are like new books, so most of the shelf has been read, but that's where a big chunk of them are. Then the last bookshelf that we have is this one over here in our like closet area. Again, this is just kind of a bunch of random books and then the very bottom are some books from a book haul that I did a while ago. That should already be up on my channel. It was like a while ago. Um, and then the bottom shelf is mostly books that Jacob had when he was a kid that we went and got out of the boxes at his parents' house. So that's kind of the books that we already have right now. All right, now that you've seen that rundown, you'll see why this needs some help. Um, so again, I'm gonna sort these out by genre, we'll put them in piles, and then after that, step four, we'll start putting them back onto the shelves, hopefully in a more organized way that looks good. We'll see how much room we still have on our shelves. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, as I go, I probably will talk through kind of which books I've read. So this will kind of be a look at like my physical TBR as well. And you'll just kind of get to see my whole collection of books. But I'm gonna get into step two and three. I'll probably just kind of time lapse the sorting of the books and then we'll sit down and talk through what books I have, how I've sorted them, and then we'll put them back on the shelves. Here's what the piles are looking like. It's a little messy. Um, this pile, these two piles right here are both my like mystery thriller section. These two piles right here are nonfiction. Then next to that, this pile is historical fiction. Then over here, we have just the stack of Brandon Sanderson. That's my husband's favorite author. And so I figured I'd just make that its own thing. So those are Brandon Sanderson. Those are kind of a mix of fantasy and sci-fi. Then next to that, I've got general fiction. So just books that didn't really fit into another category. Um, then I've got dystopian ones. I think Renegades is dystopian, but it's probably more sci-fi. Um, but I figured I'd make a dystopian pile. Those right there are my sci-fi. This whole section right here is fantasy. Then this is my stack of classics. Then I just have a couple of westerns, a couple of just like general adventure, like spy type things. And then I made a stack of like kids, just like adventure books. So like 39 Clues um, and then just a few other books that are just not quite a mystery, but they're just like kids adventures books. All right, I've decided to start on these shelves first. Um, 
kind of as I'm deciding which genres go where. This shelf is the shelf that I film in front of the most, so some of the prettier books I would like to have on this shelf. I also would like the shelf to be the ones that I'm not grabbing for as often. That way it's not like having weird holes back behind where I'm filming. So I'm going to start by putting the classics on here because I do have some cool versions of classics and I don't grab those quite as often as other genres. So again, I'll walk you through which ones I have and which ones I have and haven't read. So I have 11 books that I am putting in my classics genre. Um, first one, still has a sticker on it, I need to take that off. Um, but this is Dr. Zhivago. I have not read this one. Then right next to that, I'm gonna go with War and Peace. I have actually read War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Um, I would like to reread this one at some point and annotate it. Then Count of Monte Cristo, this one is a chunky book, um, but I have read this one and I really liked it. Um, next up is My Antonia. I don't actually know anything about this book. This is one of my husband's, but I'm pretty sure it's a classic um, because it says that it's a Barnes & Noble classic. Um, so I have not read this one. Don't even know what it's about. Maybe I'll pick it up sometime. Okay, then this one's maybe not technically a classic, but I don't really have a better section to put it in. But this is The Christmas Box by Richard Paul Evans. It's a story that I like to read every Christmas. So it's a classic in my mind. <laughs> then we have The Picture of Dorian Gray. This one I have not read. Um, I do want to read this one at some point. Um, but I haven't gotten to it, and this is a copy that my husband actually had. Alright, then we have the Scarlet Pimpernel. This one I have read. Next one, To Kill a Mockingbird. This one actually my husband gave me when we were dating, so this one's a fun copy, um, and I have read this one. Then Uncle Tom's Cabin. I have read this one. Um, then The Robe. It's by Lloyd C. Douglas. This one is one of my all-time favorite books. Um, I don't know if it's like officially what people consider a classic, but in my mind this is a classic. I've read it a few times, and I will probably read it again. And then last one on the classics is Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I have actually read this one a couple of times and this is up there in my favorite classics. All right, those are my 11 classics. Um, the next section that I'm gonna put next to them is historical fiction because I just feel like a lot of classics are historical fiction anyways. So that's the next section. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, I've got 13 historical fiction, so let's add these to the shelf. First one is called Hijack. It's by Anthony Bryant. I have read part of this and then ended up DNFing it. Um, then I've got one called Shipbreaker. I read this one a long, long time ago, but I do have it on my list of books I'd like to reread. Book Thief. Have read this one. Really like it. Clear the Bridge. I've got a bookmark in this one. I think I started this one and never ended up finishing it. Um, the Tattoos of Auschwitz, I have read this one. The Elephant Run, this is another one that I read as a kid. All the Light We Cannot See, honestly I don't even know what this book is about. I know it's super popular. My husband has read it, I have not. A Separate Piece, I don't know anything about this book. This is another one of my husband's, um, I obviously have not read it. Okay, next one's War Horse, read this one when I was a kid. The Kite Runner, this book, I DNF'd because it has a part of the storyline that I just cannot handle in books and so I ended up not reading it. My husband has read it all the way through though and he really loved it, but it just wasn't the book for me. Then Juan de la Rosa, this one I did read really recently, so you will have seen that one in this one in a wrap up, um, but I did think this one was actually pretty good. Um, the Poisonwood Bible, again, another one I don't really know much about. This one is another one of my husband's that he has read, I have not. And then Pontius Pilate, I thought this one was really good, I have read it. That's most of this shelf. I think what I'm gonna do next is grab some of my nonfiction and I'll put some of the nonfiction that's written more like a novel up top, and then I can start putting nonfiction on the bottom. So let me grab all those. I have a lot of nonfiction. All right, I've got 31 nonfiction books. So again, I'm gonna try and pull out some of them that are more novel style, and I'll put those up top, and then we'll start filling in the bottom. First one going up there is The Gilded Dinosaur. This one I have read. Um, and then there was Light. I don't know anything about this one. My husband's read it, I have not. Um, a Civil Action, another one that my husband has read, I have not. First I Killed My Father, I have not read this. The Family Romanoff, I actually read this one this summer. Um, Night, really common one, I have read this one. Rent Collector, I read this one earlier this year. Say Nothing, this one's another one my husband has read, I have not. Just Mercy, both of us have actually read this one. The Falcon Thief, I just read this this summer. Slavery by Another Name, one of my top favorites. Highly recommend, I have obviously read it. Splendid in the Vial, I don't know anything about. Um, and I can't remember if my husband's read this one or not, but this is one of his books. Then The Teamsters, I have not read this one. Um, then we've got Magellan, I actually have read this one a long time ago. And then I think this might be the last one on there, but this is a bright and shining, a bright shining lie. 
don't know much about this one. This one my husband recently bought. Neither of us have read it yet, but I think this one is on his list to get to at some point. All right, and that finishes the top row. I think that's looking really good. It definitely gets taller as you get over to these ones, but that's all right. I'm okay with a little bit of a eclectic look. All right, I'm gonna start on that side of this bottom shelf, so let's shift you down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna continue with the nonfiction. First one, My Early Life. This one's about Winston Churchill. I have not read this and I honestly can't remember if my husband had it or not. My husband has or not, but this is one of his books. Um, Michelle Obama's The Light We Carry. Uh, my mom got me this one for Christmas. I have not gotten around to reading it yet. Um, then The Things You Can Only See When You Slow Down, or The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down. I always mess that one up, um, but I have read this one. All right, then I have a few Christian ones. Um, first one's The Infinite Atonement. I have not read this one. My husband has. Um, Last Supper on the Moon. I have read this one. Made for This Moment. I have read this. Live by Sadie Robertson. have read this one. And Live on Purpose, which I've also read. Then I have a few that probably fit more into like the self-help category. Um, first one's Girl, Wash Your Face. I have read that. Um, it's not supposed to be this way. I have read this one. And the rest of these are just kind of random nonfiction. Um, first one's Good to Great. I have not read this one. Tiny Habits, this one I have read. Comic Habits, this one I have not read. Um, then The Road Back to You, this is like an Enneagram book. I've read some of this. Um, the Five Dysfunctions of a Team, I have read this. This was for a class that I took. Finally, probably the most random is the Sherlock Holmes book. Um, this one my mom got for my husband for Christmas and I don't think either of us have read this one yet. Now I think I'm gonna try and finish this bottom shelf off with my general fiction. I'm hoping it will fit. Um, I'm gonna grab that pile and we'll see what we can do. First one I'm gonna put on here is The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende. I read part of this book and ended up DNFing it. That's in a video. But I actually have two copies of it, one in English, one in Spanish. My husband's wanting to read it in Spanish because he actually does know Spanish pretty well. So both of those are gonna go on here. Then the next one that I have is A Secret History. I have read this. I do not recommend this book at all. Crossings, I have read this one. It's okay. Things Fall Apart, this one I have read. Blind Assassin, I read this one just a little bit before summer. Oil and Water, I actually read this one for a class, but I think that this book is actually really good. Elemental P, um, which is really confusing. It's Ella Minnow P, but it says like, you read it like Elemental P but I have read this book and I actually really like this one. I think it's quite clever. Bronze Bow, I have read this one. Um, the Alchemist, I actually read this one this summer. The Hamnet, I also read this this summer. Pedro Paramo, I read this summer. The Promise, I read this summer. Um, the Chronicle of a Death Foretold, I did read this summer. And then by the same author, we have, oh, this one's 100 Years of Solitude. Also in Spanish that my husband's planning on reading, maybe has read, I don't think, I don't remember. Uh, but we have this one in Spanish. Um, but this is The Chosen. It's one of my husband's favorite books. I don't know anything about it though. Walk Two Moons. This one's also one of my husband's childhood books. I don't know much about it and I have not read it. And then last for this section, I have When Rain Clouds Gather. This is another one that I read for a class, but I really liked it. Now we have an awkward amount of space right there that I need to decide what to do with because none of these genres are going to fully fit. All right, I think I'm going to put a few of my other random ones on here. So here's my two Tom Clancy books. These are more just like general adventure books. Um, so I'm going to put these on here. I have Dead of Honor and The Sum of All Fears. I haven't read either of these. Um, I'd like to get to them at some point, but they're not on my like immediate TBR. And the next thing I'm going to put on here is The Westerns. Um, first one is The Hay Meadow by Gary Paulson. I know we have a couple other books by this author. These are some of my husband's childhood books. I'm not sure where they are. I think my brother has them. I think I loaned them to him to read. So I might leave a little bit of space, we'll see, but that's this one. And then I have two Lulamores. These are my two favorite Lulamore books. Um, I have The Walking Drum and The Haunted Mesa. I have read both of them. All right, the last thing, just to fill off the end of that shelf, I put my series of The Giver. Um, it's got four books in it. They're all great. I love them all. I have read them all. So those are right there. And then the next little bit that I put in here, I just grabbed some of my like youth adventure books just to kind of fill it off. Um, so I have A Long Way From Chicago. I have not read that one. Uh, the Teacher's Funeral, Al Capone Shines My Shoes and Al Capone Does My Shirts. Um, I haven't read any of those four. They're all some of my ch husband's childhood books. Um, but I think I'm pretty happy with how these are looking. It's kind of more the eclectic stuff, less like series and things like that. And then I'll put all of the like series and other types of books on my other shelf. So that's the shelf. I'm liking how it's looking. Let's go to the other shelf now. 
All right, I moved over the books, all the books over here. Sorry for the lighting change. This is in like a closet room, which is like one tiny window that is like fogged off. So it doesn't get much light, but I'm going to start on the top of the shelf with Brandon Sanderson. We'll see how much of the shelf that takes up, but I think those are what are gonna go at the top. All right, first, we've got the Mistborns trilogy. I have read all of these, as has my husband. These are some of his favorites. All right, then I've got Warbreaker. Um, this one I have not read, my husband has. Um, then we have the Skyward Trilogy. This one I think is more of a sci-fi, but I'm just gonna put it on the shelf with the rest of the fantasies because it's Brandon Sanderson still. Then next to Mistborn, I'm going to put kind of the second installment of Mistborn. So it starts with the Alloy of Law. Um, Jacob has a second one out right now that he's reading and then we're waiting to buy the third one when the new cover comes out. So I'm gonna leave a little extra space on the shelf just because I know we're gonna have two more books coming on with this. This of the Emerald Sea, I have not read this one, Jacob has. Um, Steelheart, I have not read this one, Jacob has. I don't know much about it. And then nice and thick one, The Way of Kings, first one of the Stormlight Archives. Um, Jacob read this one a long time ago. I plan on reading it. I think he might reread it. Um, so that's gonna be the last one on the Brandon Sanderson shelf. Again, I know I have some more Brandon Sanderson books coming, so I think I'm gonna leave that shelf as is unless I really need the room. Um, but I'm just gonna move this face up fill the space and we'll call that good on that shelf for right now um that one will probably change um, but on the next one down i think i'm going to start with fantasy see how much room that takes up um first one that i have i have the whole grishaverse box set um so shadow and bone siege and storm Ru ruin and rising six of crows crooked kingdom i've not read any of these all right then just a few random fantasies looking glass wars i ooh. Got this one this summer, have not read it. Kingdom Keepers, I've read this when I was a kid. Tunnels, I have not read this. I'm, I don't even know if that's actually fantasy, but I think so. Nick of Time, have not read this. Alchemist, I have read this one. I need to read the rest of the series, but I actually loaned it to my brother to read. So we'll need a little more room for this one at some point, but I'm gonna put it on the shelf for now. Um, Janitors, I have not read this one. Peter and the Secret of Rundown, I think this is like the third one in Peter the Starcatcher. I haven't read it. I think my husband maybe has. Then I've got the Lord of the Rings series. Have read this and I've also read The Hobbit. So that's gonna go right next to them. Then I've got Fablehaven. Haven't read Fablehaven, although I would really like to. I know that that's like a classic. I just found a Brandon Sanderson that I missed. Um, Wizards, the Frugal Wizards, handbook for surviving medieval England. This one's a new one. Um, neither of us have read it, but it is on Jacob's list, I know. Then Dance of Thieves, have not read that. Strange the Dreamer, have not read this one. Dragon Slippers, read this one when I was a kid. Theodosia, have read this. Oh, it's Theodosia and the Serpents of Chaos. Then the Unicorn Secret Collection, this one I did read as a kid. I think I'm gonna end the shelf there. I know I need a little more wiggle room for the Alchemist rest of the series, so we'll just put these like that. And I might need to move some things around when I actually get that series in here. Alrighty, next shelf down, continuing with fantasy, I've got um, the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. I have read all of these. Then I've got Babel by R.F. Kuang. Have not read this, but this is on my fall TBR. Then I have the Far World series. These ones I have read, really love them. These are in my top favorite series. The Thief Lord, have not read this. Um, the Secret series, I have read all of these. All right, I just ran out of memory on my other camera and I don't know how far I got. So quickly walk you through the last couple things and hopefully this isn't too much repeat. But um, this is the fantasy shelves. I've got those two going right there. And then I just put the 39 Clues series down here. I have read all of those that I have. On this shelf, I think I'm going to start with my mysteries and thrillers. First thing I'm going to do is speed run through my Agatha Christie books. I have read all of them that I own, so all of these I've read. Um, I've got And Then There Were None, Death on the Nile, Murder on the Orient Express, a Caribbean Mystery, Towards Zero, After the Funeral, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, uh, Perot, Perot Investigates, The ABC Murders, Murder on the Links, The Mouse Trap. Crooked House and The Mysterious Affair at Style. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if I stack these this way. Maybe that'll take up less space. And I'm sure I'll buy more Agatha Christie's later, so that'll be fine. All right, then for other mysteries, I've got The Naturals. This one I have read just really recently. I've got The Bat by Joan Nisbo. I have not read that one. 
In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, I have read this one. Magpie Murders, I have not read. The Da Vinci Code, I have not read, but I'm hoping to get to it this month. I'm currently reading the first one in that book, or in that series, so I'll need to leave some space for that. Shadow of the Wind, I have not read. And Then You Die, I have read. The Red House Mystery, I have read. Silent Patient and The Maidens, I have read both of these. If We Were Villains, I have read. Rock, Paper, Scissors, I have read. I Hunt Killers, I have read. Theodore de Boone, I have not read. One of Us is Lying, I have read. We Were Liars, I have read. And Then There Were Four, I have not read. The Couple Next Door, I have not read. Chasing Vernier, I have not read. The Western Game, I have read. rearranging to try and get some more room. I put some more books vertical. I don't know how this is all looking but I think I'm just gonna keep going and we'll see how I can make all of this work. Um, but the next books that I have or the rest of the books I have are sci-fi. So I'm just gonna run through them really quick what books I have. I'll figure out how to get them on the shelves and then I'll come back and give you a final run through. So I have The Hunger Games. I have not read this. I know I need to get to this at some point. Um, the Renegades. I have not read it, but Jacob has. Rebel by Marie Lu. I have not read this, but I did read the whole trilogy that comes before this. Um, the Search for Wondla trilogy. Um, my younger brother has one of these right now. Um, these are some of my top favorites. I have read them. Speaker for the Dead. I did read. Um, Vengeful and Vicious, I have not read, but my husband has. Xenocide, I have not read. This is the next one that I need to read. Um, and Ender's Game, I have read. This is the first one of that series. Um, I've got three of the Dune books. I've read um, Dune and Dune Messiah, but I have not read Children of the Dune. Dark Matter, I have read. Ready Player One, I have not read. Silence of Stars, I have read. And then I have two of the Maze Runner books, which I have not read. So I'm going to do some figuring out and then I'll come back and give you the final look. All right, here's the final look. There's definitely going to have to be some stuff changed because there's some other books that are going to need to go on here at some point. Um, at some point, I may just have to do some of the books double deep and put ones that I'm not as interested in there. Um, but on the top shelf, I've still got mostly Brandon Sanderson and then I put my Orson Scott Card Ender's Game books here. So this is basically just books from Utah. <laughs> um, and then this one's still completely fantasy. This one is fantasy until you get over here and then it kind of becomes sci-fi mystery. Um, and then this book's, uh, this shelf's almost completely mystery except for the Dune series. <laughs> um, and then this bottom one is sci-fi plus my 39 clues books. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a good chance for me to go through and get my books reorganized, see kind of where we're at as far as space, which is we are cutting it very close. So we definitely need to get through the books that we own for the next little bit until we either get another bookshelf, I don't know where we'd put it though, or I figure out some other way to organize these that is gonna work better. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, this was, again, just kind of a brief overview of what books I have and which ones I don't. There's definitely a lot of books that I still need to read, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.